Uh, good evening, my name is Gaza. Uh, today I'll be showing you my pinball machine that I've built. So uh, when I embarked on this project, uh, I decided uh, there had to be uh, four rules of need to satisfy. One had to be built out of uh, easily made parts. Second had to be as simple as possible. Uh, three had to be fun to play. And the fourth one had to be upgradable. Uh, most of the components are made of uh, MDF wood, pine wood, plastic and PVC. Uh, there's, um, there's two computers uh, running all the electronics. One's the Arduino Mega Shield and the other one's the One Shield. And that allows me to interact with a mobile phone in order to play sounds in the background. And just before I continue, I want to say I uh, couldn't have done this uh, project without the patience of my wife. And thanks to the guys at TNT Amusements who post awesome videos online about the pinball machines that they repair and um, uh, maintain. So thank you very much to both. Uh, just to start you off, so we use, um, I'm using uh, marble, just a simple glass marble. One, because it's lightweight and it uh, still has enough momentum to push all the targets and punch through. You can come a little bit closer, I'll show you some of the features. So you've got the uh, two flippers over here. And these flippers are activated by a simple solenoid. Simple mechanism with a little rubber band to help uh, retract the flipper. And we've got uh, one ramp at the top. And a little trap here for the ball. There's a little garage here as well. And beyond the ramp is a junction which allows the ball to come through either this return here or that return shoot there. It looks really good on the outside, but the underside looks very, very embarrassing. Here's what it looks like. As I mentioned, everything in this uh, pinball machine is hand-built, including the, uh, the plunger. For the plunger itself, I use a part of an arrow as a stem and got some springs from a local hardware store and just a simple handle like that. Uh, the system does not have an auto feeder, so I need to extract the ball every time and pump it in through there. Uh, when the ball does go through uh, the hole, you just retrieve it from the bottom here. Therefore, once again, is about um, reducing complexity in order for you to enjoy playing with it, but also if it does break, it should be easily reparable. Uh, other parts I've included are some just basic lighting, just LEDs as much as I can, and some other LEDs which are just under these parts here, which I'll turn on in a minute. And this is what it looks like with the LEDs on. Uh, these bumpers here have just simple rubber bands just to help bounce the ball. There's no solenoids to activate it. There's only three solenoids in the system. Two of them for the flipper, and one of them sits under this uh, structure here which allows the ball to fall out, um, as an example. Um, in terms of playing the game, um, I did design it for a four-year-old, so all they really need to do is try and hit the ball whenever the ball comes in contact with the flippers, like such. Some of the rules aiming for one, get it inside the garage, two, get it inside this target here, at which point if you do go inside this target here, you get a little uh, barrier which comes up, so if the ball does come up the ramp, it gets caught in the mountain, and then this causes this server to redirect the uh, traffic down the second return lane. Once again, if you go, try it again, you go fast enough, there ball comes and returns on the right hand side. And the power supplies, uh, there's two power supplies. One is the um, 12 volt power supply and that um, energizes both solenoids. And the second one is to power the Arduino itself which is just a 3500 milliamp um, battery bank which just outputs standard 5 volts and that keeps it going for a long time. Some of the challenges I had when I decided to build every part from scratch is that I had to build every single part from scratch. Uh, one of them was to reduce costs but it meant every single road, every single feature had to be built. Apart from these figurines, which I just ordered uh, online, uh, everything had to be drilled in place. I had to do some tests to make sure the ball had enough momentum to be carried up the ramp. Uh, I had to make sure the plunger worked. Uh, I had to make sure the ball wasn't scratching the play field. <clears throat> You'll notice the actual play field itself does not light up from underneath. But once again, that was to help reduce complexity. Uh, you could go to the nth dimension of making this as complex and as fun as possible. But uh, the trade-off is you make it more complex, which is more prone to break. 
And it's also at, um, a factor of time. The more complex they make it, the more time you have to spend before it's ready to play. And since it's been on their works for four months, I want to get ready as soon as possible so I can start playing. And some of the sensors I've been using to uh, detect uh, ball movement, one of them is a little proximity IR sensor which sits up here and that detects uh, whenever the ball goes through the IR, the IR beam bounces back up and knows something is there. Uh, there's a similar one in this mounted structure here. This garage here is a little bit different in that it's got a little light sensor and a LED on the side so when the light is broken or the path of light is broken the sensor no longer senses the light and it knows there's a ball that's gone through. Ignore this little hole here, that's a prototype I'm still working on at the moment. Um, but for all intents and purposes, I've called it almost a 95% complete, just pending a few cosmetics. In terms of the glass panel itself, all I'm using is just a piece of acrylic. The backboard is complete. Future goal is to put a little score uh, digit display here, but that's, uh, that's more of a future. That's not going to detract from the, uh, the, um, the play of the game itself. Uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the, uh, the film and just to show you that you don't need to spend thousands of dollars buying a pinball machine. We need to spend time building your own to the theme that you want. I don't know how long my son's going to play with this for, if he does, but I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, and just remember, try and build your own stuff.